Alright, so today we're going to learn how to make a sweep on FL Studio and I make my sweeps using Synthesizer 3X Oscillator. It's called that because it has three oscillators and here they are right here. One, two, and three. They're all playing a sine wave right now. A sweep it uses a static wave so we're going to change all three oscillators to play a static wave and although you can't hear this right now you can try it on your own computer and hear what it sounds like for yourself so let's say we want to make an 8 bar sweep I'm just going to change the note length to 8 and then you can really make it however long you want so what that's going to sound like is but what you really want in a sweep is something that builds energy so something that goes from low to high like so in order to get that we're going to have to use a filter so what we're going to do is highlight our instrument select it it's green we're going to link it to a mixer track link selected channels to this track okay and for one of our um, one of our mixer slots, we're gonna put in Fruity Love filter. That's because that's the filter I'm used to. You can you can use another filter if you want, but use Fruity Love filter, and it comes with a bunch of presets. And um, you can actually use simple bandpass, high pass, low pass. You can fool around with all these filters if you want to if you want to have fun, make a creative kind of sweep. But for your basic sweep, we're just going to use a simple low pass. Okay, so now here's our filter. And um, if we modify the X, it's going to change the cutoff frequency. So what that means is if I move it all the way to the left, it's going to cut all the high frequencies off from our sound wave. So you're just going to hear a low pitched static sound like and as I move it to the right we're gonna open up those high frequencies like so yeah again you're just gonna have to go with my sound effects cuz uh, I couldn't figure out how to wire in the sound from this computer so um alright so how do we get that change over time well there's two ways you can either well there's three ways actually but you can either do a live recording and we're gonna do we're gonna do examples of each so let's do a live recording now because that's the simplest way okay so we're gonna stop record exit out it automatically records what we want and then we'll click play and it will start recording and we can record whatever automation we want into the um, filter so boom it's playing And whenever we're done, we just hit stop, recording. And if you want to look at what that looks like, we can go in here and go. I clicked on on this velocity thing. It actually corresponds to target control. So here's what we want: pattern controls, X and Y. It recorded them. And if we want to take a closer look at what we actually recorded, this is what I recorded. Okay. And if you want to look at the modulation Y, it looks, you know, that's exactly what we did. So, say I'm not happy with that. Well, there's a couple things I can do. But the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to delete it. I'm using this delete tool, highlight it all. It'll all go away. Same thing for the modulation X. Say I just want to make a nice, clean line, right? Now if we put in our song, there's our sweep pattern. Okay. Say we want a nice clean build. So what better describe that than a perfectly mathematically straight line? Okay. Let's make that. All we have to do, see when I move this around, you can see those X and Y dials spinning. 
If we right click on the control, we'll get a menu. We can either edit events, which will bring us back to that um, that bottom of the piano roll screen that we were doing before, or we can create an automation clip, and we're going to create an automation clip. So here's our automation clip right here. It corresponds to the modulation X on the filter, which is the sweep cutoff frequency. And since we want a low cutoff frequency building to a high cutoff frequency, this comes out to the shape that we want. Now, if you want the the Y, which is the resonance, um, let's do that too. The way I like to build my resonance is like that because once you get, if you put if you put this high resonance where the high cutoff is, it's going to be piercing, and you're not going to want to listen to it. But a high resonance does add more um, intensity to the rise. So this is how I like to build my sweeps, or something sort of like this. Okay, if we play that, again, you're not going to hear it, but it's going to sound just like a sweep. Okay, so let's say I want to do something different. And maybe instead of just a clean, I want to, that would be a gated sweep. And often, more often than not, I would say I use gated sweeps. So what is it? A gate, it's just a volume gate, so um, we can actually do something similar to what we did. Put another filter over it um, that can gate. If you have FL Studio 9, you can use Gross Beat, it automatically makes it. But sometimes I prefer to make my own shape gates, so I can use the Love Filter again. But now instead of these, these filters right here is what we were looking at before, now we can look at these volume gates. Um, let's click on basic and see what it looks like. Over here, this is a pattern that the volume will make. So if I play this, it'll sound like. I mean, that's not the gate I want. Check out some other ones. We've got. Um, well, basic two is kind of similar, but basic three is. Maybe that's not what I want either. You can actually go in and modify these points to um, make actually whatever shape you want. And this is this is the shape that I prefer to work with. Is sort of a uh, oh, it's a, must be on snap or something. But yeah, it's on snap. Okay, so that's gonna come out to a <laughs> shape, and that's pretty common in um, electronic music so yeah that's um that's how to make a gated sweep in FL Studio um, questions comments just post thanks